So in this section, we have learned about classes and interface in great detail. We learned what is the use of a class, how to create a class and how to use a class. We also learned what is an interface, when should we use an interface and what advantages an interface provides. Now, there is one last concept which I want to talk about interface in TypeScript and that is we can use interface as a type for a function. Let's try to understand it practically. Let's go to VS Code and here what I want is I want to create a type for a function. So for that we can use this type keyword followed by a name for the type. Let's say some function or some fn. And here I am going to specify a type for this one. And to specify a type, first we will use a set of parentheses. There we will specify what parameters this for some function is going to take. Let's say it is going to take num1 of type number. And it is also going to take another parameter num2 of type number. And then we will use a colon and we will specify what this function will return. Here let's say this function is going to return a number. And actually here we need to use this arrow syntax. So here we are specifying a type. We are creating a type called sumfn and this sumfn we can assign to a function as its type. So for example, let's say I'm creating a variable. I'll call it add and the type of this add should be sumfn. Okay, so when we specify the type of this add variable as sumfn, that means to this add variable, we can assign a function whose signature must match this signature. So for example, to this add, let me assign a function and I'm using the arrow function syntax here. And you see, we have an error here because since the type of this add is sum fn, the function which we are assigning to it, it must take two parameters of type number because that's what we have specified the type for this sum fn. So let's say it is going to take an n1 parameter of type number and an n2 parameter of type number and this function also return a numeric value so here let's say it returns n1 plus n2 which is going to be a numeric value and now you see we don't have any error so the type of this add is sum fn so to this add function we can assign any function whose signature matches this signature which we are setting for this sum fn type so this is one way in which we can define a type for a function using this type keyword but we can also use an interface for the same so here let me go ahead and let me create an interface let's again call it as sum fn okay and in here we can simply define the signature so here we can say num1 of type number num2 of type number and then it should return a number so here we are not using arrow syntax instead we are using this colon so now what this interface will do is it will act as a type we can assign this type to any variable like we are doing here so now this sum fn it is an interface so we are setting the type of this add variable as sum fn interface so Whenever we will assign a function to this one, that function match this signature and this function here, it is matching that signature. So we are able to assign that function to this add variable. If I add a new parameter here, let's say str of type string, we will get an error because now this signature, the function which we are assigning here, the signature of that function does not match this signature. So we have an error here. Okay. And if I remove this parameter from here, then we will not have any error. So here you see, we are able to use an interface like a type for a function. Okay. And when we want to use an interface as a type for a function, there we can simply define the signature of the function like we are doing here. So we can also use an interface as a type for the function, but this approach we rarely use. Mostly when we want to set a type for a function, we use this approach and not this interface approach, but this interface approach can also be used. And I wanted to cover this topic because let's say you're working on some TypeScript code where you have found this type of 
implementation but you're confused what we are actually trying to do there so i wanted to cover this topic because of that so that you don't get lost when you see such code in your project but again this approach for setting the type of a function using interface we rarely use it or we mostly don't use it whenever we want to set a type for a function we can use this approach and not an interface this is all from this lecture and this is all i wanted to talk about classes and interface in this section we are going to work a lot with classes and interfaces in our coming lectures so there i will talk about more concepts related to classes and interface but for now we have already talked about the basics of typescript classes and interface and i hope now you understand how classes and interface works in typescript and one more point i want you to remember is that in vanilla javascript we have the concept of class but we don't have the concept of interface so if i save the changes here and if we open the generated file this app.js file let's scroll down so here you will see for the interface there is no javascript code which has been generated in our app.ts file we have this interface some fn but for this interface here there is no code generated in javascript because in javascript we don't have the concept of interface yet so for the interface in the compiled code in the javascript code we will not have any code but here we are creating this add variable so that we have also created here using this let keyword and we have set its type as some fn but in javascript we cannot set a type for a variable so that's why you won't see any type here for this add variable and to that add variable we are assigning a function as you can see and for that this is the generated code here a function has been created which is going to take two parameters n1 and n2 there also you won't see any type set and it is going to return the sum of n1 and n2 so for interface in the javascript code you will not see any generated code but interfaces in typescript help us in our development process it helps us avoid any bug which we can introduce when we use vanilla javascript okay and it also enforces us to implement some of the functions and properties if we forget it while creating a class so basically interfaces helps us in development process but for an interface in the javascript code there will be no code generated okay all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day